Question 17. Calculate the value of x. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. I've got a right angle triangle again, but this time I've got an angle and only one side, so it means it's going to be a trigonometry question. As soon as you identify something as trigonometry, you're going to be going for Sokartoa, uh, depending on how you were taught. So, car Toa, just write it down. It helps to organize. Which of these rules are we going to have to use? Sine, cosine, or tangent? So what do we know? We know the long side, the side opposite the right angle, so that's the hypotenuse. So we know it could be that one, it could be that one. It's not going to be tangent. Brilliant. Now what else do we know? We know the angle, so it means we know the... So we can find the sine or the cosine of that angle. And what are we trying to find? This one, it's the other side, it's opposite the angle, so we are using sine in this instance. So why did I write it in this triangle? You may be asking. Well, I want to find the opposite, which is the value at the top. X equals. So now I can look at the two values there next to each other, so it's a multiplication. If it was one of the other values, it would be a divide. So sine of the angle, so we want the sine of angle 60 multiplied by the length of the hypotenuse. And you plug this into your calculator. Uh, this is the first time I've had to do this on the computer scientific calculator. So six, sine of 60. And we're going to multiply that by 32, which gives me an answer of 27.71281. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Always go back to the question. It says give your answer to three significant figures. So whatever number you've written down, make sure it's to the correct level of accuracy 27.7 stays as it is because the number after it is less than 5